Hello again, and welcome to the Douglasville Impact Community Podcast. We have a super special bonus episode for you today because live in our studio, we have our city finance director, Miss Karen Callen. Hey, Karen. Hi. Thanks for coming in today and talking to us. Uh, it's the time of year again where we're going to talk about some super fun and exciting stuff, uh, city finances and tax millage rates. Always fun subjects, right? Yes, always. So let's start off with the basics. We want to thank you for coming in. Tell me a little bit about you, uh, how long you've been with the city, and uh, what you do for the city. All right. Um, uh, my name's <coughs> Karen Callen. I have been with the city for 17 years. Uh, I've been finance director for about 13 of those those years. Uh, I grew up in uh, Douglasville. I graduated from Lithia Springs High School. Uh, my father graduated from Douglas County High School in 1957, so I am a local. And um, I've enjoyed my career uh, here with the city for the past 17 years. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you've been the finance director pretty much for as long as I've been here. Yes. Um, but, <laughs> and as a finance department, um, let's talk a little bit about the finance department for the city of Douglasville. Uh, because you guys do a really good job. So I've been with the city for about 12 years and so and for mm -hmm. as long as I've been here, you've been the finance director. Mm -hmm. And I've always heard thing, all these really good things about uh, our financial stance as a city. You know, you hear terms like, uh, positive fund balance and healthy general fund <laughs> and all these good things you're like wow that's really good we're in a good state and we went through that whole like down turn yes. in the economy and we always heard yeah we, our finance department has got us set up really good so we mm -hmm. we uh, endured all that without any issue that's all you right yes yes <laughs> well uh, me and the leadership of the city yeah you know, they um uh, make very good decisions. I they execute do. their decisions, but also I give them the proper information that they need. So I think that's where our strong suit is to make sure that they are properly um, notified of all the situations and the risk out there so that they can make the best decisions possible. Absolutely. You mm -hmm. give them really good advice and they take it and, and they make good decisions based <laughs> yes, on that. Yeah, do. we've, had a, we've had a great mayor and council yes. that are that are making those good decisions yep. and keeping us on those healthy grounds and stuff like and that. Conservative. And absolutely. We have a very absolutely. conservative council. So we make sure we are covered all our, mm -hmm. our budgets are always balanced. Yes. Um, and you guys are always getting awards for your financial yes. reporting and things like that. It seems like every year we, we see the finance people coming up. No, they're getting another award. So you, you yes. just got another one, right? Yes. From? Um, um, Governor, Governor's Finance Officers Association. Okay. Yes. And what is the award that you guys always get? What is that? And that is for our certified annual financial reporting. And there's a lot of criteria that we have to meet to get this award. And we should be issuing a press release within the next week or so on that award that we do receive from the GFOA, Governor's Finance Officers Association. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for your financial reporting, everything, and all Correct. the things that you guys do. Correct. It's very transparent. It's all, you know, to the standards that it needs mm -hmm. to be. It says, mm -hmm. hey, you're doing your job right. Yes. We're reporting everything we need to be reporting, and you guys are keeping us on a good financial standing. So yes. it's, it's all good and positive stuff. Yes. It's always good, positive stuff when we're talking about our city's financial department. That's for as long as I've been here. It's always yeah. been good stuff, which is which is nice, because that's a very important part of yes. city government, yes. Yes. of any government and public services, how we manage the community's monies, you know, and yeah. stuff. So that's always made me feel really good about the place that I work, that we're managing all that right. So yes. thanks. Yes. Yeah. In addition to that, we do post our financial report online. Right. And every year we are required to get an opinion from external auditors. And since I have been here, we've always had a clean opinion, mm -hmm. no risk of fraud or no misstatements of our financials. Right. Yeah. It's always, so it's always very, very positive stuff. So that's yes. good. So we say all that to, to say that we've got a great finance uh, department mm -hmm. and a great team doing what they do. And we've got a great uh, mayor and council making good decisions with our finance. And it is the time of year <laughs> where we come around and we start talking about uh, tax millage rate mm -hmm. and property taxes and things like that. So it's a very kind of confusing topic. It is. Uh, like I said, I've been here for about 12 years and I've heard it. 12 times, uh, and it's still quite confusing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, homeowners might know what a millage rate is, how that affects their property taxes. But uh, to start off, give us just a quick uh, basic in uh, understanding of what is a millage rate. Let's so our millage there. rate is the tax, va the tax rate that is applied to your home values or your, if you own a commercial business, it's applied to those values to determine what rate of tax that you pay into the, your local government. Perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a tax millage rate uh, that it determines what your property taxes are every year. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're at the time of year. Every year it comes up then that the mayor and council have to look at our tax millage rate and mm -hmm. decide 
whether to raise the millage rate, lower the millage rate, or keep it the same in order to take in enough monies to fund our city and, and the things that we're doing. Yes, right? that's correct. Okay, And we're there yeah, again. Yes. It's that time of year. It's mm -hmm. always this time of year mm -hmm. that falls. So yeah. we are currently at the place. We've got some public hearings coming up uh, and yes. based on the mayor and council's decisions and what they're planning on doing. So let's talk about where we are as a city and what suggestions uh, we're looking at, at and what we're what the mayor and council is looking at moving forward with. Okay. Um, our fiscal year runs from July 1 to June 30. Um, and so during our budget process that starts in March, we do not have the tax digest values, which right. is basically the property appraisals of all the property within the city. So we have to adopt our budget based on certain uh, projections that we won't know until July and August. <laughs> so now we're here, we have our property assessments back and then comparing it to the budget uh, to meet our uh, budget requirements, uh, we'll have to keep our millage rate the same. Which is good. Okay, yes. perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So so in order to fund the city to get a nice balanced budget, mm -hmm. we've looked at the millage rate, which last year was... 7.211. 7.211. And that's and just the M&O rate, because we have two rates, the <laughs> maintenance and operation and yes. the bond rate. Perfect. So that, that 7.211 is what it was last year. Yes. Uh, and you've looked at it and said, all right, based on property values and stuff that's come in, we can leave that exactly where it is. Yes. And still be able to take in enough money to fund the city, do a balanced budget, and, and fund some of these exciting projects we got coming up in the city, correct? That's so, correct. So they're looking at <clears throat> coming up these meetings, uh, keeping it exactly where it is. Yes. Right. So that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. We're not raising any of the tax millage rate. So we as a city are not raising that right. number, which is great. Right. Now, <clears throat> as an individual who lives in the city, uh, their tax bill may or may not go up or down based on the value of their property. Correct. Right? Correct. So uh, that's kind of a good thing. We're in a good point in our mm -hmm. economy. Mm -hmm. Things are going well. Home values are going up. We were at a, we were at, <laughs> we were at a state for a while where home values went down. It's a bad right, thing. Right, right. Uh, it's all turning around. The uh, housing market mm -hmm. is doing really good right now, mm -hmm. which means your home and your property is probably worth more this year than it was last year. Right. So if you're in a, if your home was worth 125000 last year, it's probably worth more than that this year. Correct. That's good. That's correct. <clears throat> but when it comes around to tax time, that means that 7.211 is mm -hmm. multiplied by a higher number. Yes. Because your home is worth more. So your tax bill may be a little more. If your home value went down, your tax bill may be a little lower. Right. But it's all based on the value of your home. Correct. Right. So that's kind of a good thing. So your tax bill may go up, but it's a good thing. Yes. Because that means your home is worth more, your property is worth more, mm -hmm. you've got more equity in your home. Mm -hmm. and, uh, us as a community, we've got you know higher property values, which makes us more attractive to economic development and yes. things like that. So it's all yes. good, it's yes. all good stuff. So yes. uh, we're not raising anything. If your taxes go up, it's, it's a good thing because <laughs> your home <laughs> your value property is values. worth more, yes. which is good. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think we've, we, and we've been trying to tell everyone uh, all about this just to make them aware because Initially, people will see stuff and they'll think they'll say, "Oh, wait, my taxes are going up. City's raising my taxes, and, and this, that, and the other." Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. we're trying to get this message out to everyone. We're doing press releases and uh, we're doing this podcast, mm -hmm. and we've got a series of public hearings to explain this confusing process. Yes, uh, that your tax may go up slightly, but it's not because the city is raising anything. We're Correct. keeping everything exactly the same. Correct. Correct. Um, there was an example. Right, so if you've got a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar home, mm -hmm. um, based on home values going up, and it's it's all estimates because we don't have these exact numbers because it's, it's all based on the value of your home. But if you've got a hundred twenty-five thousand dollar home, you may be looking at a thirteen to fourteen dollar increase. Yeah, about thirteen cent over the rollback rate. Right. Yes. Right. Over what? Yeah, we would have had to roll back, and that's where the confusing part comes in. So, <laughs> yes. Uh, you're looking at at most, you're looking at like a thirteen or so dollar increase, and that's over a year. Right. Right. Over the whole right. year. So about a dollar, and so a month. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, mm -hmm. it's really not bad. So I mean, right. Uh, and the good part of that is, uh, us as a city, we're taking, like I said, we're taking in enough to cover. Uh, our budget. We've presented mm -hmm. a balanced budget, and the mayor Correct. council, you know, looked at it and, and has worked out a balanced budget. So we're we're doing good there. Um, but it also helps us to fund some of these really exciting projects yes. we've, got, we've yes. got coming up. We've talked yes. about them a lot on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about all the projects that the city has going on, <laughs> and all the the meetings that we've been doing, and the public mm -hmm. input meetings. Uh, and we're getting to the point to actually executing a lot mm -hmm. of these fun things, yeah. like the the town green project. Mm -hmm. 
and the amphitheater that's happening down the street where the old jail is. Mm -hmm. We're we're really close to tearing down the old jail, mm -hmm. and we're really close to starting to put that in. Uh, we've got parks redesign, parks master plan mm -hmm. stuff going on all over the city and on the north side parks and mm -hmm. Jesse Davis and, and things like that. We've got the north side redevelopment plan. Yep. Um, we've got the old mill cleanup. So mm -hmm. some really exciting projects yes. that the fact that the overall economy is doing good, we're taking in enough money to actually fund some of these exciting things that, the, that we know that the community is super excited about. So yes. it's all good, right? Yes, it's yeah. all good, positive stuff. Yes. And maintaining so. our minimum fund balance. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. we're not spending. We will... Um, draw down some of our fund balance to finish out some of these projects but we are making sure that we and that's like our savings right, account right for people who like what is fund balance it's it's essentially our savings account um we won't go below a certain level to protect the city against any uh risk that might come up like for example the flood of 2009 Ooh. so yeah. those types of things yeah so that's awesome. So mm -hmm. we we're able to balance the budget and fund some of a lot of these awesome projects mm -hmm. uh, and maintain that fund balance that we're required and, and that keeps us safe as a city yes. uh, without having to raise the millage rate, which is great. Correct. So that's all good it, stuff, right? That's correct. That's, that's correct. awesome. Mm -hmm. See? Nice and fun, exciting uh, conversation <laughs> about tax millage rate, right? <laughs> so this will be the most fun uh, podcast anyone has ever heard on tax millage rate <laughs> and city finance. Riveting. I, I'm really <laughs> banking on no one ever watching any podcast about tax millage rate. <laughs> so, uh, but with that, we do have some public hearings coming up. Mm -hmm. Because again, we're trying to make sure everyone is informed and we, we're required to have a certain number of public hearings just to explain this whole process. Right. So that the public knows right. what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, public hearings will be uh, August 19th. We've got one at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Yes. And, yes. and then on August 26th, we have the third one and final one at 6 p.m and then a special called meeting at 6.30 in order to actually adopt. That's correct. The right. mm -hmm. Those are all happening at the Douglasville Conference Center in the auditorium, mm -hmm. same place all the Douglasville City Council meetings happen, mm -hmm. right? So uh, if you're out and available and want to come and hear more about this super exciting subject <laughs> and Ms. Callan's presentation about it, right? You'll be at all of those giving a nice presentation. So yes. uh, come out and see us and uh, you can ask questions, things like that. But it, like I said, this seems like a very positive thing in general. It so is. we're, we're lucky that we're in a state, thanks to yes. our city uh, council and mayor and, yep. uh, and, and our finance department, that we're in this position to be able to fund all these great things and not have to increase our millage rate, right. which is awesome. Very so. exciting time. It is very mm -hmm. Anything else we need to know about no, tax millage that's rates all, and that's all. <laughs> municipal finance? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for coming out and joining right, us and, and talking about this and making it all more clear to thank our citizens you. so they know exactly mm -hmm. what's going on and everything. So, right. thanks Appreciate for joining it. us. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Douglasville Impact. <laughs>